Okay, I'm going to show you what you can do with a website called thenounproject.com. There is no www before it, so it's just thenounproject.com. When you get there, you do have to create a free account. You can search for just about anything you can want. So I'm going to search for a horse, and it gives you collections, or you can go down through and look at all the, anything labeled horse. Uh, let's say this is the one that I want. I can just click on it. Now I have the choice to download it as a PNG or an SVG. You want to go SVG. Now you have the choice of royalty free or creative commons. Choose creative commons. And it'll ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop and I'll call it horse. Now you can see it's downloaded. So now that I've downloaded that, I can switch over to Tinkercad. And in Tinkercad, if I go to import, I can choose a file. We'll choose horse, open. It gives you a preview of that file. You can decide what scale you want it to be put at. If you want certain dimensions, you can choose those dimensions. I'll just import it as it is, and then I'll adjust it once it gets in there. There you go. That SVG file has been imported. Now I can alter that just like I can any other object in Tinkercad. So I could rotate it just where I wanted it. I can do anything I would like with that one. Now imagine if I could add a little cylinder behind here and I'll stretch this guy out. All right, I'm going to make that much, much lower. Make it about five millimeters thick. I'll take this and lower that just a touch higher than the other. I could put the name of my school up here. I could put a little hole and make that into a bag tag if I wanted to. So I can just you know, make that um, make that 12 millimeters this way and 12 millimeters that way. And I'll take that hole, put it right in here where it fits nicely, and I'll make sure it goes all the way through. And then I group it all together. I've got the making of a really neat keychain or bag tag. That's just one thing you can do with this great website called thenounproject.com. There's so many other things you can do, but that's a really neat start.